Namaste and welcome to India, the world's largest democracy. Politics is a major part of everyday life here, and today we are going to explore the main political parties and their influence on Indian society. Hi everyone my name is Kishan Rabdiya and you are watching the Inside India Politics channel. From small villages to big cities, political parties are vying for power and influence. The two main national parties are the Bharatiya Janata Party, BJP, and the Indian National Congress, Inc. The BJP is currently the ruling party in India and has been in power since 2014. It's a right-wing party that espouses Hindu nationalism and conservative social policies. The party is led by Prime Minister Narendra Modi, who is a polarizing figure in Indian politics. Friends, I'm here to talk about the great potential of India. Modi has been credited with improving India's economy and infrastructure, but his critics accuse him of being authoritarian and divisive. The Indian National Congress is the main opposition party in India and has a center-left ideology. It was the dominant party in India for several decades after independence, but its influence has declined in recent years. The party is currently led by Sonia Gandhi, although her son Rahul Gandhi is widely seen as the de facto leader. We want to make India a country where every person has the opportunity to succeed. The Congress Party is known for its role in India's struggle for independence and its commitment to secularism and social welfare. But many regional parties have significant influence in different parts of the country. These parties often focus on issues that are specific to their region, and can sometimes hold the balance of power in national politics. Some of the most prominent regional parties include the All India Trinamool Congress, AITC, in West Bengal, the Dravida Munnetra Kazagam, DMK, in Tamil Nadu, and the Shiv Sena in Maharashtra. With so many different parties and viewpoints, how do Indian voters make their choices? Elections in India are a massive undertaking, with millions of people going to the polls to cast their votes. India's political landscape is complex and constantly evolving, but one thing is for sure, politics is never boring here. When the results come in, the whole country watches and celebrates. From the bustling streets of Mumbai to the quiet villages of rural India, politics is a part of daily life. And with the world's largest democracy at work, anything is possible. India is a land of contrasts, with a rich cultural heritage and a rapidly growing economy. But the country is also facing significant challenges in the political arena. In recent years, there have been widespread protests against the ruling Bharatiya Janata Party (BJP), with many people expressing concern about the direction the country is heading in. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has been a polarizing figure, with some people praising his efforts to modernize India and promote economic growth, while others criticize his approach to human rights and social justice. We are struggling to make ends meet. The government is not doing enough to help us. One of the most pressing issues facing India is the plight of its farmers. In 2020, farmers across the country launched a massive protest against new laws that they say will hurt their livelihoods. The COVID-19 pandemic has also hit India hard, with the country experiencing a devastating second wave in 2021. We need to work together to create a more just and equitable society. 
Despite these challenges, many people in India are working to make a difference. Activists, journalists, and community organizers are fighting for human rights, environmental protection, and social justice. By working together and advocating for a more just and equitable society, we can build a better future for all Indians. The 2024 Indian general election is shaping up to be one of the most consequential in the country's history. The ruling Bharatiya Janata Party, BJP, is expected to face stiff competition from a range of opposition parties, all of whom are vying for a chance to lead the country. At the same time, many people are calling for greater economic development and job creation, especially in the wake of the COVID-19 pandemic. In the 2014 general election, the Bharatiya Janata Party, BJP, won a historic victory, capturing more than 31% of the vote. However, since then, the BJP's popularity has waned, with the party losing ground in some key states. The BJP's loss of support is partly due to a growing sense of disillusionment among voters, who feel that the government has not done enough to deliver on its promises. I want to see a government that is focused on improving the lives of all people, not just a select few. As the country heads towards the 2024 general election, the political landscape remains volatile, with a wide range of factors at play. From economic development to social justice to healthcare, there are many pressing issues on the table, and it's up to all of us to engage with the issues and make our voices heard. In recent years, political rallies and public speeches have been replaced by online campaigning and digital outreach. Social media has given politicians and parties a direct line to voters and allowed them to bypass traditional media channels. With so much information out there, it's important for voters to be discerning and to fact-check before they share or believe something they see online. As we head towards the 2024 general election, the role of social media in Indian politics is likely to be even more pronounced. India is a vibrant and diverse democracy, with a rich history and culture. One of the most important ways we can do this is by exercising our right to vote. Whether you are a student, a farmer, a business owner, or anyone else, your voice matters. Let's work together to create a brighter future for all Indians. Jai Hind!